Ladies, good afternoon and welcome to our annual deep dive into our amazing fake, fake collars, also known as collar inserts. We are a huge fan of these at Artichoke because, as I'm about to show you, they will completely change the look of any outfit. Before we start on this, we must apologise for being a bit late. I did say to Ellie, don't mention anything that's um, relevant to the day in the video because we're going to put it on the categories page. But we have been giggling because the only person who works at Artichoke who currently has a bra that raises her breasts above sea level <laughs> is Donna and she's not here. So both Ellie and I would look rather more fabulous if we could get to the magical bravissimo. I'm now going to move on to collar inserts. Now, every single year, we start with this dress. As long as we've been talking about them, Donna and I have always used this dress from Pomodoro as our first example of how you can update your wardrobe and completely change the look of an item simply with um, a collar insert. Now everything you see me in today is from my wardrobe. The three collar inserts you will see me in are from my wardrobe and every outfit that I wear them with I actually possess. I fell in love with this Pomodoro dress the moment I saw it, I think about six years ago now. Before I go on with this story, I have to say we are doing this live and actually it would be much better if I'd learnt how to do Restream so that we could edit it because what we're going to do is show you the outfits back to front. So basically we're going to show you how we've transformed the outfit, then we're going to do a ta-da! and show you what the outfit looked like um, one, when we initially bought it. Which I, why I'm standing here with one leg in a court shoe and another in the boot. So for this outfit, you have to imagine that I'm wearing boots on both legs. This is a great day look. So I've got um, a cross your heart um, dress on. This, it comes in underneath uh, the bust, which um, is a flattering shape for me, particularly if I'm about three or four pounds lighter. And it is actually an evening dress. But as you can see, by wearing the collar insert underneath, not only have I lifted the black, but it's enabled me to wear the dress during the day. But if I just whip this out, so I'm going to show you what my collar insert looks like underneath. I'm going to come up to camera so that you can see me unbuttoning it. So it unbuttons down the front, which means that you can slip it on without getting makeup on it. And if I just, so I'm only going to unbutton one of these. We're not going through the tortuous process of unbuttoning them all. Whip it off. Can you see I've got my little Diamante necklace in my neckline? This is from Dante. I've had mine, I think, for a year now. I live in it day and night. And then if I squizzle back, you can see now that I have the perfect dress for evening. I've lost my specs. Ed is not wearing hers. So if you've got any questions, you do need to ask them as we go through this. We will answer them at the end, but at the moment we're both as blind as bats, ladies. We've got some vague idea that there's something in front of us. Outfit number one, here comes Ellie with her outfit number one. Now, we have to say, Ellie hasn't been here long enough to be able to recycle artichoke outfits. So what she's doing is she's showing you how to change the look of an artichoke even outfit you might have bought this season. Off you go, darling. Uh, yeah. That's 
my twirl done. So hello everybody, this is my first outfit. Um, absolutely in love with this, I do love these blazers. So as Sarah said, I'm, I'm not quite there yet with, um, with being anywhere near a capsule wardrobe. So I um, have obviously acquired a, lots of gorgeous items, but just not enough to be recycling for you in videos to show you how to update just yet. So these are things that you may have purchased this season um, and perhaps similar things as well throughout the years. So I'm hoping that this is going to work for you. I will start with my blazer, which I absolutely love. It's the Barilocci, um, £220. It is an investment piece, but it's just so gorgeous. This is going to add so much to any outfit that you put it with. Um, it has got... Um, the padded shoulder just there um, and even for somebody like me who actually has quite broad shoulders um, you know it's it's not making my shoulders look too big it's not putting me out of proportion or anything like that um, in fact it's giving me quite a nice shape uh, underneath so the collar that I'm wearing is the Fenella frill collar as you can see just here so it's quite a nice high collar I am wearing it up and then slightly open and I have got it underneath my um Kimmy my Kimmy crew um in the silver color um now and Sarah has already spoken about um undergarments I'm not wearing the best undergarments today so just bear with me please um I'm wearing the silver buckle belt here to and I'm wearing my Madeline um pleathers from Brantex now these are 75 pounds um fairly true to size and they have got more stretch in them um, than you'd imagine from a pleather they are very very comfortable um, they do have quite a long leg so I think I haven't actually looked into it but I would imagine these are 32 inch because as you can probably see they are going down my boot I'm five foot six and that's I, I really like that look I'm um, going down my boot and these are just my black boots they were bought here from, pre from previous seasons. So there's one thing in my in my outfit that's recycled is my shoes. There we go. Um, so yes, this is the collar, just changing the outfit, um, picking it up a little bit, and I think it is. I think it's finishing the outfit really. Um, I'll show you what it looks like underneath. So that's my one. I am. So these do come in. Um, lady sizes so 10 12 14 i am so you do just have to think about that it's going to come under your bust um if it's too small you, you know you're going to see this bit and if it's too long and it's going to be dragging down by your belly button so you do just need to think about that when you're when you're ordering um so i i'm a size about a 14 on the top this one that I have got is a 14, but I'm not very busty. So if you are busty, just think about that and think about what size you'll need to come underneath. Um, but they are absolutely fabulous. Let me just whip this off. So I am wearing the silver buckle belt, did I say that? And I believe that they're 24 pounds, is that correct, Sarah? That looks like, I think that's right. With, oh no, God, put the teeth back in. I think the teeth are answered, yeah. Sarah's had a long day today in the <laughs> shop, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, so that is what my outfit looks like without the collar. I just think that it finished it. I think that it brought it to a new level, um, especially with the blazer. Um, so that's me without it. It's more like a dress down. Look, it is, it's it? a dress You've down. It's now gone into every day, whereas yes. with the collar, it just yeah. elevated it into an evening look. It did, it did. Still love the outfit, obviously. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just the finishing touch to be able to take you into an evening. Yeah. So there we go. So this is what I'd wear to work. Um, and that's what I would wear if I ever went out and left the house, apart from to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So there we go. That is my first outfit. Right, ladies. I'm in outfit number two now. Um, before I forget, uh, the last collar I wore was the Ingrid, and that was the white pointed collar. This is the Ivy, which is a plain white collar, a Peter Pan collar, and uh, these these collars are thirty pounds. All the other collars are thirty two pounds fifty. I'm just going to grab half of them 
and, and talk you through them. So this is the Kathy. You will see me wearing this in my next outfit. It's a gorgeous chambray cotton. We have the pale blue animal print. This looks gorgeous under navy. It's absolutely stunning. You've seen the Fenella frilled collar on Ellie already. This is the Maris Star, another gorgeous one. Absolutely fabulous under navy. Here is my Ivy. And then finally for this little run is the Fenella Frill in the Ditsy print, which you would have seen Donna in quite a lot. I think this is her favourite. She certainly wears it a lot to work. Now back to my outfit. I'm going to squizzle back here. This is a Pomodoro skirt that is not quite as old as my dress, but must be... Um, must be four or five years old um, now. It's great in the evening, but like Ellie, my social life is not that wonderful. So I have to think about ways to extend it into a day look. So what I've done is I've kept my boot on and I've added a crew neck jumper with my Turkish H belt and a crew neck now i am an inverted triangle which means that my boobs are two sizes bigger than the rest of me and this means that crew necks theoretically are one of the very many things that i shouldn't wear however i can get away with wearing it by balancing myself out on the shoulders and this is my secret weapon underneath and also by wearing a white Peter Pan in the neckline, which draws the eye up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip out my ivy collar. And then I'm going to show you something, ladies, that I've wanted to show you since... When did I show you? Did I show you these pads? when I got yes, them. Yes, you did, yeah, yeah. So it must have been just before we had Ladies' Day, before I broke my ankle, I discovered these fabulous pads that you stick into your jumper. They've got Velcro. So that has given... Let me, before I take this one out, can you see I've got narrow, sloping shoulders? And by putting this underneath... It brings my shoulder out almost to the width of my hip. So it's balancing out my body. And then the belt is accentuating the waist I don't have. So the floaty skirt makes my hips look bigger than they are. The um, little paddy thing that I bought on Amazon for six quid makes my shoulders look bigger. And then the H belt cinches in my waist so if you look at me now you know the outfit has just lost its zhuzh hasn't it which is why collar inserts and other accessories are so fabulous ladies and it's why we love them so much this is outfit number two completely from sarah's wardrobe the crew neck is an old um brand text or signature one the skirt, as I've explained, I've had for years. This is in its third winter. Ellie's coming on now with her next outfit. She looks gorge. So I do actually have a couple of recycled bits in this one. I say recycled, that's not a very good word for it. But, um, so a few of these items are actually my items. So first of all, uh, my coat, which some of you may recognise. Um, it's the waterproof one from Bee Coastline. Uh, we had it in this um, khaki colour and we had it in a navy. Um, and I couldn't resist. It's a fabulous coat. Um, and goes with so many different colours. Um, also, the shoes on the bottom. Um, so these are my Chelsea boots. Um, and they came in a few different colours as well. This is the lighter camel colour. Again, some of you may remember them and may have bought them the last season. And then the jeans are my um, Magic Stretch jeans in the stone wash. Um, these ones are getting a little bit too big for me now, but as you can see, they still give you a great... 
effect. So when um, Donna and Sarah tell you that um, you can fit two sizes, it just depends how you want to wear um, your jeans. That's exactly what they mean. And I see it now. You're so, getting a boyfriend look now, aren't Yeah, exactly, you? yes, yeah. It, that's all it is, yeah. So just being a little bit too big, um, yeah, it's just giving me a different look. So the, the items that are not from my wardrobe, um, I am wearing the sandy v-neck in the dusky blue. Yeah, dusty blue, uh, £49 for these, 100% cotton, beautiful, and they come in a lot um, of different colours as well. Um, and I have got my Ditsy Vanilla Frill Collar. So it is the same design as the last one that you saw me in, but it has got this beautiful pattern on it there. Um, really, really nice. And because it's got a couple of different colours in there, um, you can just mix, mix and match it with, well, with any different colours that you'd like to. Um, so what I'll do is just show you, what I might do is just take off the coat so that you can see it without the coat. So, there we go. Really, really nice, um, really nice addition to the outfit, I think. Um, again, just ele elevating it up a little bit. Now, do remember with our collars, um, much the same as most of the things that we say, you don't wash it over 30 degrees. Um, you, you don't want to be ruining the colours or, um, or anything like that, but you can iron these. It's absolutely fine to iron these, um, just so you're aware. So I will also show you this without, I'm going to unbutton it because I don't want to get my slap all over it. Um, so I will unbutton it for you. And this is the outfit without. You see, I'm just not loving that anywhere near as much. No. Yeah. You know, that is just like a, per you know, that's just like ordinary get up jeans. Isn't it? It's just this, yes. this, this, yes. this, this, this is what makes that outfit fabulous. It is, it is. That is what changes the outfit. Um, absolutely love this with this colour. I think that's absolutely beautiful. So yes, that is my second outfit. That's I'm going to hop along. Right, so before we talk about my outfit, I'm just going to go through the last of the few patterns that we have. This is the Dorothy. It's a, v, it's a pointed collar, white uh, background with a navy spot. Incredibly popular. This one, we have very, very limited stock left on, ladies, and we've run out of fabric in Tunisia. It's called the Gala, and it is actually a dark navy with a brownie gold uh, star on it. Beautiful collar insert. This is uh, the Ingrid. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This is the Ingrid, which is the first one I wore, the pointed collar. And this is the Biddy. This is named after my lovely friend Biddy who lives in Whitby. It's a gorgeous Peter Pan collar with a paisley pattern. Now this one is nameless and not online yet. So if you have a suggestion for a name, pop it in the comments below. It'll be going online very soon. And we've also got a frilled collar uh, with a white background and stars on it, which will be going online over the next few days as well. So we've uh, today selected a gingham, a, a pale blue gingham collar, which we'll be getting in soon. And um, it's like a white with a, a floral pattern, isn't it? A very yeah. fine floral pattern. Yeah. So we've got two more that we've selected today that will be online within the next month or so. So I've talked about updating items that I've had in my wardrobe forever, um, dresses that you know everybody's seen and you want to change the look of them and you've seen how it completely transforms the look of a dress that's been in your wardrobe forever. I want to show you now how it can dress down a, an evening dress. So this is actually, this is its first outing because I broke my ankle before I could wear it. This uh, dress is from K Design. I bought it as my sort of Christmas party dress for this winter. But before I bought it, I was umming and ahhing for about a month. And the reason I was is because I have quite a few black uh, dresses that I can wear for Christmas. 
and I don't need any more. I had to think of a way of being able to dress it down. And this is where the collar insert came in. So I'm wearing this dress. It's a knitted dress with my, um, what are these called Ellie? Bother boot things. I can't remember what they're called, but you can see them. And I've got my little cropped Levi jacket. Now you will know that I have had this since Georgie was 17. She is now 26. So this does not owe me any money. And as long as I keep those pounds off, you see before I broke my ankle, I could get this done up ladies. So I clearly need to get my teeth wired soon. <laughs> if, as long as I don't put on too much weight, I probably will be buried in it. It will go on so long. But the star of the show is the collar insert because what it's done is instead of elevating an outfit as we did with the blazer and the grey jumper, it's made an evening dress wearable every day. And I'm just going to whip the collar out and undo it so that you can see that without the collar this really is quite a posh frock. Um, and I have very, very few occasions where I need to be suited and booted. So I've just got my little uh, Diamante necklace on here. I'm going to step back, turn to the side where you can see my court shoes and see that this really is a beautiful dress that would take you anywhere if you had anywhere to go to, which clearly I don't, which is why I need that collar. Here's Ellie for her last outfit. You're not taking a great picture of us, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we're really no mates. We are, I know. <laughs> my last outfit. So, I have still got on my Magic Stretch jeans. Um, £72 for these, as I said, I am in the stonewash. Um, but they come in lots of other colours. So you have um, black and uh, dark blue and of course seasonal colours as well. Still got my belt on, which is gold buckle belt and I've still got my shoes on. I have changed into the gilet. Um, so this one is the B Coastline. I think this one's called Icy Blue online. It is icy, isn't it? It's some sort of blue. And it's £75. Absolutely lovely. It also comes in a gorgeous brown colour, um, but it has tons and tons of pockets it is uh, nice and thick so it's going to keep you warm um and one of my favorite things actually is how low this um arm comes here and it's got slightly elasticated around the arms as well so you can get a really thick jumper on underneath when it's really cold um i have got the claire cable knit jumper in the navy on underneath um, I'll come a little bit closer so that you can see the knit on it. Um, again, these come in beautiful colours, lots of different colours. Have a look online for them. Now, I have got the biddy collar on. Sorry, I think my hair was actually covering it up. So this is the one that Sarah has just shown you. It's um, a paisley colour, uh, sorry, a paisley pattern, and it's um, a blue with a white background. Um, really, really beautiful and rounded um, collar just there, as you can see. Um, I love it. I think it just, again, it elevates this outfit and just changes it slightly. I'm just going to whip this off so that you can see that. So this is the Claire jumper. And then I'm going to take this off so that you can see how plain this looks without just that little bit of colour from the collar. There we go. So that's the jumper on its own. You see, I still think that's a nice outfit, whereas I don't think that v-neck jumper was worth you not? at all without it. Did you no. not? Maybe it was the colour as well. Yeah. No, I don't think, I just think that colour just really, really finished Did it? it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so this one is, so the one that I wore before was the v-neck, yeah. um, and this one is obviously a round neck, um, and I'll put that back on so that you can see the entire outfit so as it was. So you just got a completely new outfit. Nobody yeah. would know it's the same two things. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is, you know, this could be going out for a walk or, or whatever you're doing, going shopping or something like that. Pop the collar on. Perfect to go to work. Perfect to go out for lunch. Mm. Yeah. Just elevates it, doesn't it? it elevate, does. elevate. Yes. Right, right. I'm going to hobble on. Right. So that's it, ladies. This is our annual um, introduction or review of our collar inserts, which are now all in that box down there. So you can't see them. 
We're back next week, not on Monday, we're going to be here on Wednesday and Ellie and I are going to be playing dressing up with the Tallulah pale blue shirt. Everybody thinks, and they're right, everybody says that you need a crisp white shirt in your wardrobe. You also need a pale blue one because if you sit down and spend the next uh, 10 days thinking about it, it goes with every single colour in the spectrum. You need to come back to us with a colour that pale blue won't go with. Hope you have a fabulous week and um, we will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.